hello viewer welcome to my channel after a long time i am making this video for my channel so in this video we are going to learn about the refractory that are used in tundis lining before discussing about the tundis refractory let's first know what is tundis from the image in the left side you can have the idea that in the continuous casting of steel Tundis is a buffer refractory line vessel which is located between the ladle and continuous casting mold. The Tundis serves the purpose of a reservoir and a distribution vessel. Let's see the different section of Tundis refractory. Tundis cell, insulation board, permanent casting, working lining, that is spray mass and turbo stop. Let's see in details. At first, we are going to learn about insulation lining. So, let's first discuss the purpose of insulation lining. Why insulation? So, insulation is used during refractory lining to prevent heat loss or heat gain from the refractory wall. Ultimately, it protects the cell surface from deformation, which can be caused due to prolonged exposure of steel to higher temperature. Let's see the process of insulation of insulation lining. So we are going to discuss in step by step. So step one, proper cleaning of rusted cell surface with the help of wire brush and sandpaper. Second step, painting of cell surface with redox side paint. In third step, welding of anchors. In step four, cutting and fixing of insulation board and last flattening of the anchors redox side paint is applied to prevent the cell surface for further oxidation in this video you can see the process of fixing of insulation board the persons are engaged for fixing of insulation board you can see the total process the whole process clearly so this is all about insulation lining next comes to castable or permanent lining it might have a question arise in your mind that why it is called as a permanent lining. It's because this castable lining is not changed for a long time. This lining cast can go for 800 to 1000 hits and even more in some steel plant, depending on the casting time and sequence length. Let's see the process of installation of permanent lining. So at first casting is done at the bottom. Step 1. Fixing of bottom well block former and impact pad former. Step 2. Mixing of LC castable with desired amount of water. Mostly 7-8% to 8 of water is mixed. Step 3. Pouring of castable slurry inside Tundis bottom. Step 4. Vibrating the slurry with the needle vibrator to maintain uniformity. Step 5. After completion of the casting, it's left for at least 24 hours for air setting or air curing. You can see the details process in the video. You can see that the well block pharma and impact pad pharma are fixed properly. That's you can see the details of mixing process of castable. Castable mixture is prepared batch by batch, say 100 to 200 kg depending upon the capacity of the mixture machine.
In this way bottom casting is done. Before going to wall casting, please look at the chemistry of castable LC70 and LC80 castable. The wall casting is done in similar fashion. The big size pharma is cleaned and fixed inside tundis with the help of overhead crane. The castable is poured in between pharma and insulation wall. See the detailed step of process of insulation of wall casting. Grease up is applied outside of the pharma for easy removal of the pharma after casting. Look at this gap in between the castable is filled. After completion of wall casting, the tundis is left for at least one day in open air or room temperature of 32 degrees Celsius for air cooling or you can say the setting of LC castable. Then after 24 hours, the pharma is being removed from the tundis and it is ideal to left the casting wall for another 24 hours in open air for further air curing. Then it is shifted to preheating station for the last step of the process that is preheating of castable lining. For better bonding and strengthening of castable lining it is being heated over 72 hours depending on the thickness of the casting wall. Please see the process flow chart of preheating of permanent casting and heating schedule. Now comes to working lining. The Tundis working lining is of two types. One is lining with spray mask, another is lining with dry setting powder. Here we are going to discuss about spray mask lining. Spray mask is a magnesia based sprayable mass of grain size of 0 to 1 mm. Magnesia based spray mask is used in working lining only because it is easy to apply, it is cost effective, easy to discall after use. Let's see the process of spraying. Spraying is done coat by coat. Before spraying the temperature of the casting lining is measured by the infrared gun. The temperature should be in range of 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. in this video the person is doing spraying he is doing the fast coating you can see clearly You can see clearly in this video that the spraying is done manually. Two persons are engaged here doing manual spraying, but in some advanced plant, the whole process is done by robot.
here you can see the operation of spray machine the spray mass coming through hopper and mixed with water becomes slurry mass through pump it is fed through a rubber hose of dia of about two and half inch and at the end point of the hose nozzle gun is fixed through which slurry is coming out at the point of application the slurry is being atomized by compressed air so in this way layer by layer spray mass is applied and the final thickness of the spray mass is checked by a gauze you can say you can see in the video that the person is checking the thickness of the spray mass after completion of wall spraying bottom spraying is done and finally the tundis is covered with a tundis cover like you can see in this video and the tundis is shifted for the drying and preheating of the spray mask lining tundis is being heating to avoid thermal shock because the final steel temperature is is about 1500 to 1600 degrees celsius so before operation it, the wall should be of the same temperature otherwise it will got thermal shock please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching see you in my next video thank you